Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to show you collapsible content. At the moment, we have a great looking nav bar, but what we can do is make it hidden by default and have a menu button which opens it. So it's collapsible, you can open and close it. To do that, it's really simple. First of all, with your nav, you just need to add a class of collapse. Then you need to add an ID so our button knows what item is triggering so for this i'm simply going to put nav1 probably want to name it a little better than that and that's it in terms of the coding for the nav bar now we just need to just create the button well, what i'm going to do is create another nav so class equals nav bar nav bar dash like you don't need to do this you can just create the button that I'm gonna put inside it but the reason I'm actually doing this is because it looks more professional and how it generally would look on a website so we've got the navbar set up inside it's gonna put a button so class of button and we're gonna have a button I mean navbar dash toggle toggler sorry type equals button data dash toggle so what sort of data are we toggling it's collapse it's a collapsible piece of item now we need to put data dash target so data dash target and this is the id that we set right here so if we just copy and paste that and inside we're just going to put ampersand hash nine seven seven six semicolon and you'll see what this looks like you might think oh this looks crazy but when you see the visual implication of what we've done just done you'll love it so if i just open up the web browser refresh there you go, we've got our new navbar with our menu button. You've probably seen this before, I guarantee. If you're here coding, you must have seen this on applications, websites, etc. You might also be thinking, where's the navbar gone? Again, it's collapsible, it's hidden. So if we click on that, okay, it clearly didn't work. So let's just go back and have a look where we've messed up where I've messed up basically so 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 we have a navbar we have an ID called nav1 we have data dash target nav1 ah there we go we need to put a hash on there because by default it doesn't know that you're targeting an ID so if we refresh click it now and as you can see it opens and when I click it, it closes and as you can see it's also got a cool animation so it's just sliding instead of it just suddenly and abruptly appearing so that's collapsible content with your navbar if you have any questions on this or anything else feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php there'll be a link in the description there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video Please rate, comment and subscribe and let us know what you think of this video and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.